Eleven years ago, a young Trimley St Mary man, Kyle Donnelly, took his own life. No one knows why. But his friends and family still think of him every day and want to help other people who might be thinking about suicide as a way of resolving their problems. His friend Tom Bull told us some of Kyle's story and wanted to introduce us all to Calm, the campaign against living miserably, which works with young people through web chat and a phone helpline. This is a bit of a long story for you, isn't it? Because it goes back for years. We were talking about a friend of yours, a very good friend of yours many years ago, yeah. who took his own life. Tell me a little bit about the story of, of what happened, because this is important to lots of people, young people, who have problems in their lives and can't sometimes see a way out. Yeah, definitely. So uh, my friend Kyle Donnelly, who this uh, bench is in honour of, he sadly passed away 11 years ago. Um, it, it totally came out of the blue. We were in sixth form, we were 18 years old, um, and it was literally one of them. He was here one day and he wasn't here the next. Uh, there were no signs, there was nothing that sort of said that this would happen. Um, and yeah, it was a total shock. It was a, it was a massive thing in the community at the time. It really it hit all of Felix though, I think. A lot of people knew him or had seen him or uh, would have seen us over here playing football. We know Kyle passed away. Yeah. He took his own life. Mm -hmm. And we don't know why and we'll never know why, will we? No, really? no. Um, but you thought it would be a good idea to do something serious to remember him. Yeah. Tell me about that. Yeah, so we got this bench, Chris, uh, to Kyle died 11 years ago, and then just after uh, he passed away, we did a charity football match at Delwood, um, where we raised about £700, which helped buy this bench. Um, the council kindly agreed to put it in place here and sort it out for us, mm -hmm. and then we then put it in the next year. Um, I thought it was important not only to sort of have a place to remember Kyle personally, but just for other people as well. It's yeah. like I come over here quite often with my dog when I'm back home, and it's really nice to see people sit and use the bench. And, and if I am, I'm over here, they ask me who he was, and it's nice to, to talk about him yeah. and sort of keep his memory alive. We've got this uh, plaque which uh, we put on today. Um, so Calm uh, in January teamed up with Netflix and the Afterlife TV programme that Ricky right. Gervais did. They put in 25 benches across the country um, Calm, if people don't know, is a suicide charity or organisation that runs a web and a telephone service for people in, in the time of crisis, essentially. Um, it was used by people around 125,000 times last year, which is a huge number, so they offer a lot of support. Um, and what, the, what this QR code will do is, if someone puts their phone over it, they can go onto the Calm website and it offers them that, that support and them tools. Um, and, it, and it's nice, obviously comes with a nice motto on about how life can be tough, um, but there's always hope. And I, and I think that's true. Um, a lot of important conversations probably do happen on a park bench, don't they? You meet family, friends, strangers, and you can have a chat about anything and talking. It, it helps. It, uh, it, it's therapeutic and cathartic to anyone just to have a chat. A couple of background bits. What does CALM stand for? Uh, campaign Against Living Miserably. A lot of people do, don't they? Yeah, a lot of people do, yeah. A lot of, a lot of young people, when we think about it, because life, when you're a young person, can sometimes be extremely confusing. Yeah, definitely. So, um, I mean, personally and professionally, you you see more and more now youngsters that are having these feelings and maybe don't necessarily understand what they are. But I think it's important to realise that we live in a time where there's a lot of pressure on people, uh, whether that's through you, you need to achieve because of the cost of living crisis and getting a job, or whether that's... Um, with social media and, and the influences that come from that. It does a lot of good, but it also causes harm, and I think we have to recognise that. And you have to do the things to get the things, the, the kind of steps that you need to make in life, like going to uni and stuff like that, because that's a really hard time for many people. Yeah, definitely, like you say, going to uni and, and things like that, it all causes pressure, but I think there's lots of little things we can do in life that will make us feel better, that, that won't take us to that, that end point that you potentially feel suicidal or are, or are going to commit suicide. Um, as I say, talking, exercise, trying to live healthily, uh, drinking enough water, doing enough steps in the day. They sound like really simple things, but if people can do the easy things in life, it, it makes things better for you because you just feel better in yourself.
So you originally come from Felixstowe? Yeah, so I lived in Felixstowe for 23 years mm -hmm. and then I joined the police six years ago. And they sent you to Birmingham? I <laughs> no, so uh, it, Birmingham's a really great diverse area yeah. um, and I saw it as a challenge. Mm -hmm. They were applying, so off I went. Off you went. That was your first job in the police or did you start here? Yeah, no, that was my first job in the police. Right, yeah. so, okay. When you when you were doing that job, you must see an immense amount of all kinds of stuff. Yeah, definitely. And that must include some of the young people we're talking about today who don't know where their lives are going and don't know what to do with their lives. Yeah, so people will probably be surprised to know that the, the police deal with a mental health incident every four minutes in this country. Um, it's something that we see more and more, especially on the front line. As services have been cut, that increase has come for us to get involved, whether that's a high-risk missing person that's potentially going to commit suicide or whether that's someone at home that's having a mental health crisis and mm. has just got nobody else to turn to. Um, as particularly lately as ambulance wait times are going up we're being used more and more to, to prevent that sort of end horrific step taking of someone taking their own life um, it's, it can be tough Chris I think it's, it's, it, it can be tough um, equally I have days where I've, I've saved people's lives and, and equally I've been when it's too late but um, yeah just when I, when I joined it was with Kyle in mind that if I can stop one person doing what he did or being there for someone in their time of need then I'd I'd have achieved something and, and I've done that and I still enjoy what I do. The factors that affect or that affected Kyle affect lots of young people don't they because a lot of young people do things like this maybe not as dramatic as taking your own life but maybe self-harming and things like that and and nobody knows the reasons why because they never talk about it and that includes girls as well as boys yeah it? yeah so it's important to say that as much as obviously the, the statistics show it more to be a man it, it is in there is an increase in women now and it is starting to sort of level out um I, as i said earlier i can't sit here and give you the factors for why because it there, 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 there wasn't anything no. however them important conversations hopefully could have happened at some point and it's just that that would be my message if to anyone that's, that's listening to this uh, that's maybe not feeling quite right or a, you know they say a classic saying a problem a problem shared is a problem halved yeah. isn't it and as soon as you talk about things it often makes you feel better so i just encourage people to talk if people are over here on the grove please come and have a look at the bench sit on the bench use the bench i love coming over here and seeing people use it uh, scan the code learn a little bit about calm they do some fantastic um some fantastic charity events and i think they're a really good charity to, to put money towards um, so yeah that would sort of be my message and above all they're people to talk to yeah they're the people to talk to they uh they've got professionals that work for them they're used to dealing with this kind of thing there's nothing that would be a silly problem for them uh and yeah get them used <laughs> so take a look at the calm website if you're someone who thinks you might need some help in dealing with life Give them a call.